I bet you can't make it through this video without wanting to order a pizza, because that's what we're caking this week. My name is Lori, and you are watching The Icing Artist. To get started, I baked a 10-inch round vanilla cake that was quite short because we don't want it to be too thick. It is pizza after all. And I just rounded off those edges. Now, we don't need to crumb coat this entire cake because we're going to be putting some marinara sauce in the middle. I rolled out some ivory fondant into a nice thick log. I then very carefully picked that up and kind of wrapped it around the edge of the cake, trimmed off the excess, and then just used my fingers to kind of smooth out that seam. Once we have everything on it, you're not even going to see it. And then just kind of smooshed it down with my fingers. I did this to help kind of add texture to the dough. So we want it to look like bubbly, like you've got these like air pockets in the dough. Now this dough look, looks raw, it looks like raw dough. We need to have a baked look here. So I got my brulee torch and I'm going to caramelize the outside of this like marshmallow fondant. And the nice thing about this is that the entire room starts smelling like roasted marshmallows. So that's really all you're doing. You're just toasting the outside edge of it as evenly as you can. You don't want them to be too splotchy, but wherever those air bubbles were that I made, those are always more burnt. So I held the brulee torch a little bit more there to darken it. But if you guys don't have a brulee torch or if you're scared to use it, you guys can always just paint using ivory food coloring and some alcohol or just dry dust it with some color dust, whatever you guys want. I'm sure that will look good. Now the crust isn't quite as high as I want it to be. So I'm just gonna carve out a little bit more of that cake out of the middle for my pizza sauce to go into and for my pizza sauce it is just red buttercream that I watered down so it's nice and soft spread that out with a spoon like you would normal pizza sauce now of course it is time for the cheese which is really the best foundation for any good pizza I'm just gonna use some fondant that I dyed and use my cheese grater and grate that right onto the cake I dyed it with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of ivory to give that nice baked mozzarella look I am shocked at how easily this like soft fondant grated but it grated perfectly if you guys think that looks good wait till we brulee it again I'm just gonna use the torch again and just melt that cheese right on top of that sauce it gave the sauce this like rich delicious color and all the little cheese pieces that were left over on the crust I extra toasted those so those are those like really crunchy bits of cheese that are the best part when you just like pick those off the crust and eat them my favorite. This is seriously making me hungry, but it is time to make the toppings. Cause I'm not just a cheese pizza kind of girl. I am making my favorite toppings that I'm gonna put on a pizza. Start off, I'm gonna make some green peppers. I was just rolling out some fondant and then cutting those into strips and then just shaping those with my fingers. They 100% look like pepper strips. Next, we're gonna need some red onions and these are gonna look so realistic. I rolled out some purple fondant. I then rolled out some white fondant that just added a touch of purple into, much thicker. Layer those two up with some water to glue them together. Trim off all that excess stuff that we're not gonna need and then we're gonna cut nice and thin strips just like we did the peppers, except these ones we're gonna turn on their edges and kind of curl a little bit. Yes, this is all coming together. For the bacon, I just marbled together my red fondant and my brown fondant, mushed that together kind of in my hands and then rolled that out and that gives it a beautiful marbled look. I'm gonna cut those into strips except this time I'm gonna kind of rip the strip so it has this like ripped, I, don't know, I felt like that was more bacony than like a really clean cut strip so it's more of like a rough edge. And then just crumple those, just pinch them a little bit, give them some texture. And lastly, the must have topping on every pizza, Pineapple. I cannot eat a pizza without pineapple. It is the best topping on pizza. And I know about half of you guys will agree with me and half of you guys won't agree with me. That's fine. That's fine. But let me know down below. Are you guys on team pineapple with me or are you guys pineapple haters? Now, normally I load my pizzas up with a lot of toppings, but less is more with the cake. I didn't want it to look overcrowded because I really wanted to see that cheese and the pizza sauce and the toppings and a little bit of everything. And the finishing touch, I'm gonna take that brulee torch out one more time and just toast that cheese that's gonna melt right over the toppings. It's gonna give it a really melty, toasty look. Even hit the bacon a little bit so it gives it that burn edge on the bacon and caramelizes the fondant for the peppers. This looks so good. And then there is your pizza cake. I cannot believe how good this actually turned out. I'm surprised, but it looks amazing. It's making me super hungry. Comment down below, guys, if you're having pizza tonight, if you're gonna cave into those cravings and what your favorite pizza toppings are. And if you guys wanna see more food made into cake, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And of course, guys, don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else in the cake. Bye, guys. All right, we're good. Perfect, I am starving. Ah, uh, yes, I'd like to order an extra large pizza. Yes, please. With, uh, actually, can I order the same thing I ordered last time, but with extra pineapple? Yeah, I know, extra pineapple is the best topping.